Welcome to the big show. RC plane crash test dummies. I'm going to do a terrific show today because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. All right, hey everyone, it's Chris, the original RC plane crash test dummy once again, and um, I'm going to show you what I've been kind of putzing around with. I've been working on so many projects, this hot wire cutter being one of them. Um, but uh, what I did with my uh, Polaris, my Steve Schumann design Polaris seaplane, um, was I wanted to see if I could get a more stable uh, flight out of it. So just out of thin cardboard, I made some airfoils. Um, and, you know, they tapered back. Actually, this way. Tapered back. Uh, and they worked really, really well. I did notice a... Uh, a more stable flight, uh, smoother control. Uh, so, being that I've got this hot wire cutter made, um, I wanted to test out. Uh, I wanted to use like some real thin styrofoam. You know, obviously styrofoam is not going to warp when it gets wet. Uh, so, using, I know you saw my last video of uh, this hot wire cutter and what it can do. So really big piece here this was one inch thick but I uh, shaved some off already uh, just to give you an idea Let's see here tighten this up. So this huge, big ass piece here, what I did, I set the wire an eighth of an inch from the wood. Just trying to apply a nice steady pressure as to not acquire any ripples in the styrofoam. I think what would work better is if I actually uh, used a piece of countertop material. It's got the laminate on top. This would probably slide much nicer over the laminate. But I just got this piece of wood and it does grab on every so often. I can't push down too hard. I should look into getting a piece of countertop material. Anyway, let's just stop this here. So I can get one eighth inch thick piece of styrofoam and this is really awesome and I'll show you why in a second this is great for making an airfoil if you already have like a, a quarter inch thick wing you know the, uh, the fan fold foam and you want to add an airfoil all you have to do is this and I'll show you all right so this is uh, what I've been doing here. This is what I've done. Uh, this side's pretty much done. Uh, so I left this side unfinished so I can show you. Now I've added, it's hard to see with this all this blue foam here. Um, I've added a piece above here because I did sa already sand the edges uh, uh, for a yeah, slight airflow. I mean it's just the edge but uh, I didn't want a flat edge I wanted something a little more aerodynamic but now I'm making it really aerodynamic um, added this uh, piece up here for the ribs to butt up against uh, and then I'm gonna sand this down to meet uh, this sanded edge just like I did here uh, 
nice and smooth, meets up nice. So I take the cardboard piece that I had, uh, lay it on top of this foam that I shaved, one eighth inch thick stuff, and then I come up with this. I did kind of cut it a little bigger than it's supposed to, uh, just for, yeah, just in case, just in case it's, uh, I, I gotta make adjustments to it. Um, so it'll be butted up against this lip down, because these, these are sanded to where they go down below this top edge here on that uh, on that ridge the leading edge there uh, so the styrofoam will basically just sit down in there and meet up flush with this right here and that's what I've done on this side and you can actually see the rib one here one here and one here so uh, I mean, needless to say, it's really hard to tell because everything's blue on this thing, but uh, the bottom is flat and the airfoil on top. All right, well, that's all I got for now. Uh, I'll just finish this up and hopefully get some uh, test flight video pretty soon, either uh, before the snow flies or after. <laughs> so, all right, later. Fly fast, crash hard. Peace. It was, it was, it was that tall, folks.